Even though Christmas Day is over, I've still got a few little celebrations that I'm looking forward to. One of them is tomorrow. I'm going to meet with some of my friends. We're going to eat. We're going to have a joyous time. I know talking, we always do. Lots of laughter. Uh, lots of catching up with what's been going on in each other's lives. This year when we meet, one of our friends, one of there's four of us, one of them said the last time we got together, just about a month ago, I guess, she said this year for Christmas, why don't we make handmade gifts for each other instead of buying anything? Well, that was perfect for me because I've already been making a handmade, a handmade gift for him the last couple of years. I've been making yogurt and taking it to him. Uh, and we all agreed, everyone agreed that that was great and that's what we would do. And we don't ever spend much money on each other, but it's just something we like to do is to get together and eat and talk. So I need to make my, my usual, I'm just getting to do the usual Christmas treat that I always make for him, which is yogurt. And I'm going to make that today. Now, I've been making yogurt for years since Cory and Katie were just little bitty girls. And actually, they were the reason that I started making yogurt. So I wasn't a big yogurt fan growing up. Grandpap never really bought it. I tasted it at different places after I was an adult, but I wasn't crazy about it. Uh, but Corey and Katie, when they were really small, they had kind of digestive issues as babies. Uh, in between that time, not so much as when they were babies, but when they began to eat solid food during that kind of transition period. And their pediatrician at the time, he suggested that I start giving them yogurt every day. You know, making sure it had live cultures in it, but giving them yogurt. So I did, and they loved it. They loved it so much that they started, uh, it's kind of a, a family joke, and I think I have some pictures even somewhere, uh, but how they would smear it on everything they ate. They would either dip the whatever it was in the yogurt or just lather the yogurt on top and then eat it. They really loved it. And about that same time, one time when I took them for a, um, a well check or something, uh, the people actually gave me a, a recipe for yogurt. And it looked pretty complicated and, and I didn't, for whatever reason, maybe I don't even think I ever tried it. I just thought, I just can't, can't really do that. I better just keep buying it. But then not long after that, I came across a, a blog, The Frugal Girl is the name of it. I don't know if it's still, still going. It probably likely is though. And I will definitely link to this where I... I uh, got the recipe so many years ago, and she made it look so easy that I thought, you know, I could do that, I could do that, I could, uh, I'm gonna try and see, see how it turns out. It was so good <laughs> that I just kept making it. Now, as Corey and Katie got older, they didn't eat yogurt as much. All those kind of little issues worked themselves out, and uh, they didn't need to eat yogurt on a daily basis anymore, so I kind of quit making it. But I would make it for different, every once in a while or whatever, and I can't remember why I made it. Maybe at work we were having a, like a Christmas breakfast or something like that, and I said, well, I'll bring some yogurt, and then we could get some granola or whatever. And when my friends there, when they tasted it, they just loved it. So that's why every year I make some for them, because I know they enjoy Enjoy it so much uh, and I should get back in the habit of making it all the time but but I don't these days but I'm going to go over the recipe it's really easy and I'll go ahead and say beforehand that back when I learned how to make it this way it was so good and then once I know the process I never thought about making it any other way now today I know a lot of people make yogurt in their instapot and they say that works really well uh, I've heard of people making it in a um, something else, not an Instapot, but something else. I'm sure you'll think of it. And then they even, today you can even buy yogurt makers. You can buy those. But I still make it this the same way I've always made it, just because it's one of those things that I kind of know by heart and I know exactly how it all works out and that's just what I stick to. But you need one gallon of milk, of whole milk, one cup of yogurt starter, uh, if you've already made yogurt, you can just use a little bit of that, but like if you were making it for the first time, you'd have to go to the store uh, or buy some from a friend or something, and you want to make sure it has uh, live cultures in it. You want to make sure that it has the uh, live cultures. And then you need, if you're going to flavor it, you would need a little bit of sugar, it's what I use, and a little bit of vanilla. You can leave that out. You don't have to use that at all. And you also, this, because it's a gallon, it makes four quarts. It actually makes a little bit more than four quarts, uh, which is perfect uh, now that I'm making it these times of the year when I make it for my friends because I give them three quarts and I get to keep one quart. And any that's left over after that, um, it's usually about that much in a cup, that much extra from the four quarts. I either drink it or I just put it in a little cup and put it in the refrigerator and we eat it. But it's really good to drink because it tastes with that little bit of sugar and the vanilla tastes like a milkshake. 
So we're going to pour the gallon of milk in the in a large heavy bottom pot uh, and then we're going to heat it to between 185 and 195 Fahrenheit. And then we're going to, once it gets to that, we're going to take it off the heat and we're going to have a, um, our sink filled with cool water. We're going to set that pot down in the cool water. You need to be careful that the water don't go into the yogurt or that you don't put water out on the floor. I've done that. That's how I know. Um, and then let it cool down to 120 to 130 degrees. And then you're going to stir in your cup of yogurt that you had. Uh, that's when I would put in a little bit of sugar and a little bit of vanilla. And I kind of just taste and see. It doesn't need to be overly sweet, but I like for it to be a little sweet. And then once you really incorporate that into the milk, you put it in your jars and then you put your jars in a warm place. What I like to do is I have a, a cooler. I bring the cooler up. I pour some that hot water um, pour some hot water in it, set my jars in it, shut the cooler, leave it all night, and then by tomorrow it'll be, it'll be firm, it'll be yogurt. And the jars that I'm using, I just use quart jars, and I go ahead and sterilize them just like I was making, uh, if I was making pickles or canning or anything like that. So now I'm going to show you how I put it all together. This is the part, when you're making it, this is the part I think that takes the longest is letting that milk come to heat because you don't want to really boil it because you could scorch the bottom. So you kind of do have to do it pretty slow and kind of keep an eye on it. It seems like it goes really slow and then all of a sudden it's at the right temperature. So we're getting really close. It's probably been cooking for a good 30 minutes if not longer. So we'll give it a few more minutes. recipe says let it get between 185 and 195. I usually aim for about 190. I figure I'm in between there. Looks like I'm there. So now I'm going to take it over to the sink to let it cool. Okay, I had a little bit too much water to begin with. I had to let some out. So now we're going to let it sit in this cold water until it cools off to between 120 and 130 degrees. And that doesn't take long at all. Okay, we're down to 111. Lower than it actually needs to be, but it's okay. It'll still be all right. First thing I'm going to do is let the water out just to make things easier on me. going to add my vanilla which is nice one of my friends that I'm making the yogurt for actually made me the vanilla so that's neat I'm going to do a tablespoon I might add a little more or that might be enough I'm going to add the yogurt cup of yogurt just want to make sure like I said that it has live cultures in it I've got my whisk I'm going to use to kind of mix everything up in there and get all the yogurt off my spatula. And I'm going to add sugar. I usually just add a little, maybe a half of a cup, and then kind of stir it up and then take a taste and see if I think that tastes right. And if it doesn't, I'll add more sugar and more vanilla. needs a little bit more. So I'm going to add a little bit more vanilla. You could add other things too at this point or you could make it really basic and then when you're actually serving the yogurt add some uh, fruit or whatever it is that you like. Granola, all those different kind of things.
Now, before I started this, you probably noticed there's kind of like a film on top of the milk. You could take that off if you want to, if that bothers you. You could kind of scoop it out, but I don't ever do that. Okay. Get me another spoon and try some more. Mm, perfect. Now I'm ready to put it in the jars. I'm going to use a dipper to dip it out and pour it in. Sometimes I pour it out into my um, eight cup measuring cup and that works pretty well. See, I've already spilled it. You'll do better than I, I do. And once you get the jar filled, you can see those little, see all those bubbles? If you spoon them out, it just makes it for a nicer top. I think it would be just fine if you left them, but I usually just get me a jar and just, or a little glass or a jar would work too, but, and just spoon them out. And you can't usually get every one of them, but even getting most of them will just make for a prettier appearance on the top of your yogurt. And if you spilled any on top, you can kind of kind of wipe it off. Then put a lid on top, and whatever kind of lid you want works, and then that's it. You can see how um, there's something on the outside of my jar there. You can see how creamy, I mean how uh, liquidy it is now. But then once it turns into yogurt, it will be firm, just like the yogurt that you buy in the store. So I take the water that I actually sterilized my jars in and I add a little bit more hot water to it. It's not boiling or anything like that, but it's still warm. And pour that in. Get a little bit more. Just hot water. And then I set the jars in it. And I shut it, and the recipe, I think, says to, like, you could wait three hours and it would be ready. I typically do it of the evening. This is not the evening today, but typically do it of the evening and just leave it all night. But before I go to bed tonight, I'll get the jars out and make sure that they're actually turned into yogurt, and then I'll share with you how it turns out. So it's almost time for me to leave to go, go meet my friends to eat with them. So I'm going to taste some of the yogurt. It's, um, it, I know it's going to be wonderful. Like I told you at the beginning, I wasn't really ever crazy about yogurt until I ate this yogurt. And it's the, for me, it's the, the taste is good, but it's the mouth feel. It has a different feel than regular store-bought yogurt. Mm. And it's just so good too. Perfect amount of sweetness and vanilla for me. That's the great thing about it. You can you can change that up. You could leave it out. You could mix fruit into it. So many different things that you're you know that is that you're able to do to make yogurt like you like. Mm. Very nice. If you're admiring my little spoon here, Katie gave it to me for Christmas. But the funny story behind it is it's one that Matt made and gave to her. And then she said, I just thought you should have it. So she gave it to me. And Matt was like, I can't believe either one of you would even want it. <laughs> he just, one evening when he was just sitting around, he just whittled it out sitting outside. But I love it. And it's perfect for this. So I hope you enjoyed seeing how I make yogurt. 
I will link to the recipe, the original recipe, the frugal girl below in the description so you can go and see all her details she shares about it. You will notice that I don't do mine exactly like hers, but that's the great thing about it. Over the years that I've made it, I've never had it not turn out good. It's always turned out good, and I don't do every step that she does. Um, but anyway, I'll put that there so that you can go see all the details that she shares about it. And I hope if you make it, you like it. It lasts very well in the refrigerator. So like um, this, this won't last long because we'll eat it. But you can have a jar or two or three, like if you made a full run. You can also make half, like use a half gallon and just decrease it. I've done that before and that works really well. But they will last, they will stay good longer than you think. Maybe two to three weeks even in the refrigerator, I've noticed. Uh, probably because of the nature of what it is, because it is yogurt. So it is something that you can make and then kind of enjoy for your breakfast. Katie likes to eat yogurt a lot for breakfast. Um, and I should start making it for her again all the time. She likes the closest thing to it that we found is Stony Brook, the brand Stony Brook, and that's what Katie buys. But I should start making her, making it for her all the time again, or teach her to make it and let her make it herself. I hope that you enjoyed this video. As always, I hope you'll drop back by often to help me celebrate Appalachia, which is a whole lot of, of course, the food ways and the cooking that I share, but also just kind of the wonderful tradition, like me getting to eat with my friends each year after Christmas, uh, sometimes we do it before Christmas, whenever we can all, all four schedules align. And also just that spirit of giving so that like this year that we're doing handmade gifts. I always do handmade gifts since they love my yogurt. But it's a whole lot of that, just a whole lot of togetherness, friendship, and family.